Session Drums from Ableton. And these are, let me just adjust my mic there. These, there's gonna be three different versions. There's uh, Studio Drums, or Session Drums, sorry, and uh, there's Club, and there's Multi Mic, and there's Studio. I'm gonna look at all three of them, figure out kind of what's different about them, you know, why do they come in three different versions, and also look at ways we can use them in composition and also in performance. So I'm gonna switch over as I often do to my computer here and we'll look at what Ableton has to say about them and uh, then we'll get to work here on the push and in Ableton. All right, let's switch over. All right, so first let's look at uh, the session, well, studio drums, session drums, studio, and see what Ableton has to say about this. Okay, so um, rock and drums are their tags right here. So session drums, studio features, clear, vivid studio recordings, world-class drums. So it's, it's basically trying to offer kits uh, that cover a wide range of styles and offer deep customization capabilities. So I would imagine, you know, these are going to have, uh, they're going to be like designed for using in an authentic drum setting, right? So they might, they might contain samples and clips might function well. Um, certainly in a situation where you're trying to do drum replacement, maybe you've recorded some live drums. You want to do drum replacement with better sounding samples. That might be in one option. It's got a six gig uh, download um, or installation size anyway. So that's pretty substantial. There's obviously a lot going on in here. Um, kicks in various sizes, different kinds of beaters, mic'd with dynamic and condenser mics, snares of different sizes, different materials, uh, right hand, left hand, different velocities hi-hats in a variety of sizes. Um, the width of the open hat can be mapped to a mod wheel or pedal for even more dynamics and realism. That's a pretty fascinating idea. Uh, ride symbols featuring bell, middle and the edge, crash, splash, china symbols, toms of various sizes, different velocities, tambourines. So there's some very light percussion in there with tambos and cowbells. 12 kits load as drum racks with eight make macro controls, envelope and EQ. Okay, so eight drum racks. Session Drum Studio also comes with 50 MIDI clips in various styles. So definitely some solid material here for uh, like as a construction kit to, to put drums together. So that's pretty cool. Let's take a look at what this has to offer. So I'm going to switch back to uh, my push here. And let's load up, I uh, got a MIDI track here. I'm gonna go to packs and I'm going down to Session Drum Studio. And so I've got drums, I've got different drum hits, different drum racks, right? So these are my 12 drum racks. So slightly different micings, you know, different mic choices on the kicks and snares, overheads probably, differences between some condensers and things like that. But let's just take this first preset uh, here, or it's not the first first preset. Where, where was it? Cold Tight Room. Let's take that one, load it up. Um, load that up. It just takes a second. I'm going to turn it up just a little bit.
All right, so super clean kind of drum sound, pretty straightforward here, but definitely studio oriented. This does not sound uh, electronic really at all. Probably could beef up some electronic uh, drums. Let's take a look at what we've got in the way of macros, right? So we've got hi-hat pedal. So this pedal is changing definitely the quality of the hi-hat. If I just went to solo my hi-hat, Um, solo the other one here. So that's kind of like the open hi-hat pedal. And as I close it down, I definitely get a tighter pedal. So that's pretty cool for customization. Getting a much tighter, closer pedal on the hi-hat. So that's cool to be able to open that up. That could be something that we could automate. So turning on automation and opening it up. And then that becomes part of the MIDI clip. Very cool feature there. All right, I'm going to delete my automation there. Tone, let's listen to the tone. Oops, I left my automation on by accident. Hold delete, tap the button, that's going to delete automation there. So this is brighter, more trebly. The tone when turned all the way down is, is trebly. It's a little more mellow, a little warmer on the top end there. Low cut. So... Choke groups. I really find that that hi-hat pedal uh, modification is particularly interesting. I mean, pitch might be useful if I was putting together like a, a live techno track or something. But this hi-hat pedal being able to open and close, get a different quality from that, that that's actually really... Uh, would be a great way to just inject realism, right? But this is just uh, one, you know, this is me putting together a really basic drum sequence. I'm going to go ahead and delete my clip, go into clips and uh, clip view and browse now. Um, I am still in the studio here. I want to uh, go... into my session view and I'm going to select a clip slot and I'm going to browse. I guess these are just one shot samples. Let's switch back to the software over here and look at, um, let's say that I am out of studio. Okay. So, Drum hits are like sim cymbal hits. Samples, more simple hits under combined utility. I guess that's probably just some fanciness that's part of the sampling, the, the actual sampler instrument. Uh, let's take a look. I had seen earlier, so this is using sampler rather than simpler. So there's definitely a lot of layers going on here. Uh, the macros seem to be on like a per instrument basis. Like these are for hi hats. If I were to switch to my toms, then I get similar tools for the tom. Now I get attack and decay instead of like that hi hat pedal sound. So these macros would be great for live performance, but also something that's cool to automate during a production so that your production has, you know, a little more kind of like life and um, realism. Uh, just got lost in my navigator here. So let me go back here. Um, now it had said that... Um, 
Session Drum Studio also comes with 50 MIDI clips in various styles, and I'm not seeing those. I guess they're under clips. There you go. That's where they are. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to grab some of these and bring them in. And just listen to them. I guess I've got the wrong kit, so let's bring them in over here. Let's listen to... Um, side sticks. That's a pretty cool vibe. Let that look up. There's a lot of uh, velocity variation in these clips, so these are going to have like nice realism. I like that sound. Also gives you a sense for kind of like, uh, you know, the, the available personality of these different kits when you listen to the MIDI clips. That'll be, if you just kind of go through them one at a time, it'll be a good way to, to sort out those sounds. Um, you can see here on my push, I've got actually the MIDI laid out. What I um, wanted to do though was to kind of go through those. Just, I, I usually, you know, I would like to go through clips a bit more because um, because they give us that that flavor they tell us a little bit more about how um, how the samples you know are, are intended to work so if I'm I, if I'm just kind of keeping things quick here I'm gonna just listen to some of these they're all named like with different names. Fort Knox is obviously a, a sound as opposed to frying pan. Gallop. And you can see they're even labeled here like this is just a fill. Here's another fill. So these are all for the kit called Cold Tight Room. Right? So I could just grab all of these. Uh, sorry, and put them on uh, cold tight room up here. My uh, mouse is. <laughs> I'm sorry that it is making me do this, but I don't want to waste time. So. here so what happened to my kit oh I'm soloing everything that's what happened I was wondering why it went quiet so you can just switch between the clips and so I'm just switching to kind of create Just create it using the fills every, you know, four bars or something like that. Switch to a different beat. So those are nice sounding. I mean, that would be a great construction kit functionality to just use these clips to, uh, to, to put together a drum track for whatever you're, you've been working on. So let's look at the next one up, which is multi-mic. I think Studio has given us a good sense for um, uh, 
you know, they're trying to give us something that's got the flexibility of folks who are actually going to be recording drums. And that is probably going to work well in like a rock or pop environment. But let's take a look at, um, was this uh, session drums? So this is studio. I want session drums um, club. Got to have a page for just the club drums. So club is multi-sampled library of world-class acoustic drums recorded with plenty of natural room ambience to impart realistic depth and an organic vibe in the rhythm department. Let's listen to their sample. <laughs> I want to listen to that versus the sample that they had for Session Drum Studio. I mean, the fact that these are less affected seems to me to indicate that maybe the Session Drums Club are... ...designed to provide maybe a bit more of a live feel a little less of a controlled studio feel. Still, they're tagging it with rock and drums. So you're not supposed to take away from club that this is like dance club, but more just like live music club. So maybe a live setting. Still another four and a half gigs of sampled drums. So a lot going on here. Eight, eight drum racks with macros and all the rest. Uh, 20 more MIDI clips in various styles and patterns. So we've still got some uh, new uh, some new stuff, new clips here for uh, as a construction kit. So let's listen to some of those. Lots of reverb, like levee breaks kind of sound. Curious, you know, do we have to have that reverb on there all the time? So let's see what's going on here. So. Um, I really that seems overbearing to me. So let's. <laughs> Let's just try this again here. So this is actually adding the original kit and then another instrument or FX rack. So so this rack down here, this warm and tough, got a lot of saturation, uh, tube and compression and stuff going on. And that kind of popped on along with the instrument. So you turn it off. There's definitely a lot of live overhead mic here. If we just looked at the snare down here. Bright, a little, a little warmer. It's not really a lot I can do about that live sound. So, you know, I guess if, if you want something that's going to sound particularly live, it's not like there's a reverb setting in here that I can just uh, disable. But this audio effects rack here, warm and tough, might come in handy also. Uh, in general, like as a nice uh, instrument or effect rack for, um, you know, applying to just about anything where you want to use saturation. So, you know, this warm and tough rack could just be something that you use independently on other tracks, not just the drums. But so far, the difference between um, the Session Drums Studio and Session Drums Club is definitely 
a very different vibe. There's this like strong room presence, strong uh, like reverb effect. Individual drum hits. I'm I'm curious about you know they say yeah with plenty of natural room ambience. So they've been multi sampled acoustic drums, lots of room. So lots of overhead mic in these signals. Whereas with the studio, um, they're mic'd, I guess uh, they're close mic'd. They're going to be going to, I mean, you could certainly add in that, that natural room ambience after the fact on these, just using reverbs and delays if you wanted to. So if you're looking for a more controlled vibe, then you might want to start off with studio, whereas the club kind of comes imparted with this natural uh, ambience. If we were to actually look at the samples underlying these, um, you can hear that just, you know, baked into the samples is a ton of room sound, ton of overhead. as opposed uh, to, you know, the Session Drums Studio, if we look at those uh, samples, we're gonna find that, let's go down and find a snare, that it's gonna sound a lot tighter, a lot, a lot less affected, a lot less room noise. So a lot closer mic. So, um, you know, if you're somebody who, if you're a drummer, then you'd know exactly what to do with the difference between the, the club and studio. If you're not a drummer, if you're electronic music producer, then just know that the club version is probably going to impart a, a quality of reverb that you're not going to be able to, take out so if you want something washy and it sounds good then use it but if you want to like start with much more surgical approach i would say just skip the club and go with the studio but let's check out the final one which is multi mic and identify what that's all about because there's this third one session drums multi mic so this is meticulously recorded <laughs> as if the other two aren't right uh, that produces the nuances of a recording session all right, session drums gives you full control of the close mics, each drum overheads, room mics. So a lot more control, but I'm wondering what control does it give us that we didn't get with the studio? Because the studio was saying, you know, it's properly mic'd, ready to play, including kits with a wide range of styles and deep customization capabilities. So one thing I'm wondering here is if the multi mic is kind of more like for the the producer or mixing engineer who just wants to have every choice at their disposal they they have you know basically they don't want to they don't have a studio they're never going to mic up drums and they're very picky about what they want to hear whereas the studio drums is more like um i don't know what i want to hear but i just want it to sound good i want it to come out of the box in other words almost think about like um session drums studio here is like i hired a drummer and i hired a studio because i want great drum tracks and it's just kind of in the box whereas drums multi mic is like i'm a producer who wants to set up the session i want to get very specific things out of my drummer and i want to kind of micromanage the whole thing then the multi mic is is probably going to give you that opportunity <laughs> This has a, a whopping uh, 12.3 gigs of, uh, of samples, well, eight gigs of samples, but even more stuff here. So 14 drum rack presets. Each drum and microphone has a separate channel. So a lot of audio getting consumed here. You can conveniently mix, add effects, and swamp, swap drums to customize your kit. So you, you have a lot of control almost like you are like i said going into the studio as a producer you're you've ch you're choosing a very specific kit very specific drummer you're micromanaging every aspect of this how it's mic'd how it's mixed how it's recorded how it comes into the desk all that sort of stuff 
Whereas, so this is like, uh, this is much more like, okay, I'm going to roll up my sleeves and get busy on my drums. Uh, whereas the studio version is a bit more like, uh, it's just out of the box. I'm ready to go. I just want a beat and I want them to sound studio quality. I want this to be acoustic drums, you know? So multi-mic is giving you a lot more flexibility, but also is probably kind of much more of a headache. But let's give it a listen. Let's just um, see what they see what they sound like. So I just got my samples here. So if I load up this kit, I switch back here to uh, my push, and let's see what we got here. So we got tone. Room mic volume. Decay pitch. switch back to the software and take a look at it a little deeper see it's got that same warm and tough uh, effects rack on it but down here on the instrument sorry I got that confused Close snare, overhead, room snare, snare bottom, and all of this stuff is mixable, right? So I'm able to modify different parts of each of these hits. You know, honestly, for my money and time, uh, that kind of thing is the kind of thing that maybe sounds good on paper. It'll have total flexibility, but it's it's also kind of a drag because... Um, you know, you have to go in and you have to mix everything like by hand. And I think probably that's the multi mic would be a lot more appropriate for somebody who is a drummer and like what their passion is, is to get under the hood and work out these real refined details. Uh, whereas for me, I would be much more interested in this in the studio session drums. So I didn't really like the sound of the ambient sound, the heavy room mics in the club. I'm I'm not I don't I don't I'm not really sure why I would want that because I can recreate that on top of the studio with the reverbs and delays if I want. Um, but so for me it, it really comes down to a choice between the multi mic and the studio. But I don't really want to spend time mixing my drums in real super fine detail. Um, I don't see a lot of value in these for live performance, except just maybe having more sample libraries, more kits to load up. And certainly I can see in a live situation where I wanted to layer drums. So maybe I've got like an electronic kit and I want to layer that with um, an acoustic kit to get a fuller sound. A couple of weeks ago, several weeks ago, we I had talked about Drum Booth as being a, a really great example of that. But it's kind of designed for that kind of designed, not you know to to back up and to add depth and um, power to whatever you had going on in your electronic beat. In that situation, I feel like Drum Booth makes a lot more sense as a as a live performance pack because it you know when when I'm playing live I'm sequencing and I'm maybe blending things I'm not really going to do a full-on acoustic drum track live so the acoustic session drums would have really applications at least as far as I'm concerned you, you know you might find different uses for them but I'm assuming that a lot of people watching uh, this live stream are uh, 
you know, more, more inclined to just, um, be interested in making music quickly. They want power tools to get great sound. You know, they were buying these packs cause they want sound quality. They don't want headaches. So they want to just throw together some loops and maybe you program your own beats, but, uh, you're looking for just good out of the box sounds. And I think the session drums studio is your best bet there. Uh, if you are a drummer, an acoustic drummer, you're working on a production, uh, you're not interested in live performance and you want to tweak your drum sounds, you know, like <laughs> full time job, then the multi mic is probably a dream come true because now you suddenly get all that flexibility. It reminds me of a plugin from F Expansion that I used to use maybe 10 years ago, 15 years ago, called BFD which was just this amazingly rich uh, collection of drum loops and fills and hits and all this amazing stuff. And you could really put together like totally professional, totally believable live human drum tracks, but it was all drag and drop. Um, and it was great, but it was also kind of a headache because you had to get in, you know, go in and you had so much flexibility like you do here with the multi-mic version that it was kind of a headache to, to do. And a lot of times back then when I worked with BFD, I kind of wished I just had something that was, it was just easier to know. I wasn't supposed to mix this. It was already there. And I feel like that's where the session drums studio maybe is the greatest value for me. So I can see how they're all related. These, these three session drums packs. I think it's appropriate to think of them almost as like one sound pack, but they're huge. So, you know, they're adding, I don't know, 20 gigs, stealing 20 gigs from your hard drive. So um, I'm glad we covered it all in one unit. I'm going to be uh, picking it up next week. I'm going to be taking some time off uh, in a couple of weeks, but I've still, uh, I, I am looking forward next week to getting into some of the other sound packs that are a little more sort of melodic and style oriented, not, not uh, the session drums, which are really are, are kind of a narrow niche. Um, for production. So I will see you next week. Please leave uh, any questions in the comments. And uh, if you, there's packs you want me to cover, please reach out to me and let me know. I'd, I'd love to hear from you. And uh, have a good weekend. Good luck. All right. Bye for now.